I'm calling this one the coin spinner. And this is exactly why, because when you're done, you'll be, you'll be able to do something like this. I know, amazing. And every single person I hand one of these to starts playing with it. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with a cylinder. Let me just move this out of the way for you. So here's the cylinder, and we're gonna start with the dimensions of 45, the bottom. 45 on the side, can I see that? Where did it go? 45 on the side. Nice, now already I don't like the straight edges, so let's just change that. And of course we want a height of five. There you go. Now the next thing we need to do is empty the center space, but I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna make it transparent or a hole, and I'm gonna change the dimensions uh, to 36.5 and 36.5. Now it's already smooth, so I don't have to worry about that, but I need to center it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna hit the align button over here. I'm gonna align it this way and that way, and it's centered now, and I think, yep, that looks good right there. So I'm gonna select both of them by Clicking and dragging, I'll do that again, clicking and dragging. And then grouping, you could also do it by hitting Control and G, that's why that's there, right there. And there we go, we're almost done. Before we go on to the next step, I do want you to see something over here, let's see if I can pull it up. Right, not there, right about there. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and that's called printing in place. Printing in place allows you to print something and not put it together because it's already printed together. And this right here, what we're gonna do today, allows you to do that. And that's one of the reasons we're doing this, to learn how to print in place. All right, so let's go on to the next one. We're going to duplicate what we have already. And since we're already you know, focused on it, let's move it over here to the side and ungroup. Let's ungroup this, that way we can get what we want from it. And let's get rid of the orange part, let's color that one, let's make it red. And just to make sure you're paying attention, let's go ahead and change that to blue. I'm not gonna change it, but you, I would like you to change this to blue, just to see if you're actually paying attention. <clears throat> now, we're gonna change this one <clears throat> to 33 by 33. And the height is gonna stay the same. Now, obviously, it is not centered, so let's go ahead and take care of that right now. Again, love this tool. I can't believe I did it any other way before this, and now I have it. I'm liking it. <clears throat> so now, we have this center, and as you can see, it's already looking a lot like that. Hopefully, yours is actually blue. Now, <clears throat> when we get to this part right here, which is actually what let's talk about it right now because we're there, <clears throat> this cone is going to allow us to not use any supports. Now I'm going to change the dimensions to five all around. Five for the top, five for the sides, and five here. <clears throat> I'm going to move this to the very top. Actually, let's just move it over here so we can focus on that. And let's rotate it. Because we want it to be here and pointing that way, we're just going to rotate this. I'm going to hit the shift button, shift and hold, and it'll go to 90 pretty quickly. This right here allows us to not use any supports. See, the printer, uh, it's set automatically that if an angle is at 45 degrees, it will not add any supports because while it's printing, you know how it prints this way, then the next level. If it's at 45 degrees, it doesn't need any supports. And that's exactly why I wanted this to be 45. So let me just put that right there. And that's very important. Anything that you want to do, if you can make it a 45 degree angle going upwards, it will not need supports. But check this out. The first time I designed this, I, I just, I didn't even think to center it. So when I printed it, it turned about halfway and it got stuck because it was not centered. I'm not gonna make the same mistake here. I'm gonna center it, not from here, but from down here because I wanna create a straight line going that way. 
All right, so let me, let me see if I can get closer. And one more time, closer. Okay, this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna change my snap grid settings to 0.1, and I'm gonna move it back some. I'm gonna use the arrow key to move that back a little bit more. Oh, look, see that right there at the bottom? I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Let me see if I can zoom in here. That's as far as I can go, but there's a little tiny line right there. That tells me how deep this is. Not very important, but I do want to check all the way around this thing to make sure it's not sticking out anywhere or it will throw everything off. Okay, so we're good with that. Now, this is where the magic happens. This is where people get confused because they've never done it before. But don't worry, I'm here for you. I'm going to show you the way. I just duplicated it. I'm going to make it a hole, okay? Not too complicated, but here's what I'm going to do. With the arrow key, I'm going to move this forward. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight should be good. I think we're good there. So now that 45 degrees, that angle is now gonna be working inside of the outer ring, which means when this is printing at a 45 degree angle, down here it doesn't need any supports because it has the bottom to, to make it work. But when it's printing the top part of this hole, because it's at 45 degrees, it will not need any supports, which means this will print in place and the hole around it will print in place or the area around the hole will print in place without needing any supports, which is gonna allow this to print and move easily. So now I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna duplicate and I'm gonna rotate them because we know we need one at the bottom. I'm gonna hit shift and hold so that I can move this easily. And now I'm gonna move it down. Before I do, I need to change the snap grid. Otherwise, it's going to take forever. I'm going to go by twos and let's see how fast that takes us. I'm going to zoom out with the mouse. All right, that is pretty fast. Okay, I need to zoom in here. So, and I know I need to move it a little bit. So, let me, uh, let me go down here. Oh, it looks like I did not rotate that enough. So, I'm going to hit shift and hold, shift, holding the shift button. There we go. Now, this is not where I want it, okay? You can see both of these are together. I want this to be a little bit higher. Let me let me click on this and see if I can get a better view. Oh yeah, that's what I want. I'm gonna use the arrow key to move this forward. And that looks very similar to the, to the other side. And that's exactly what I want. I want it to be very similar. Now, because all we did was rotate it from the top and let me, there you go. Because all I did was rotate it and go straight down with the arrows, I don't have to center this. It's already centered. But just to make sure, I'm going to select everything and check my alignment with the Align tool. If you notice, it's gray. That means everything is perfectly aligned. We're good. We're done. Now, at this point of the tutorial, it's very important that you remember what color this is supposed to be, as I said earlier. Plus, now you need to understand you can decorate this or you can put, you know, maybe your initials or something. That's the part that makes this interesting because it's gonna have you. My initials are AA and I'm just gonna click and drag. Whoa, that is huge. <laughs> That's funny, it created a shortcut with my name. That is too funny. I'll just put A because A is awesome. All right, now the reason I want you to see this is because there are some issues if you don't pay attention to what you're doing when you're doing this. All right, so let me, it's all the way through, which is great. You know, people, awesome, right? However, here's the problem. I'm gonna group this inner coin or yeah, the coin, let's just call it a coin and my letter and look what happens. It will print However, this part right here in the center, as soon as you take it off the bed, that part's falling off. It is falling off and you're gonna be a very sad A. So, if you have an initial or a letter or anything that has something inside of it that is gonna be alone without a, being attached to anything else inside, it's just gonna fall off. So, what can you do? You have some choices. You could just indent it without going all the way through. Another thing you can do is make it a hole. 
maybe not that big because when it rotates, it's not going to work. And that's not good. Not good for anyone. All right. So there we go. You could do that. So you can create a hole. You could create part of a hole where it doesn't go all the way through. Or you can have a letter sticking out. Now, before you continue, you're not actually done because you have this part right here that needs to be grouped with that part as well as, actually, let's just go ahead and group these two first because it might get a little more complicated if we take another step. So there, the hole is made. I'm gonna click outside so I can see the next part down here. Looks like the outside has the blue. Let me zoom in so I can show what I'm talking about. This part is, has a little blue light around it and that's exactly what I want. And the outer ring. I group them. Now, as we're doing this, we still have one part, but let me remind you, we're gonna be doing a lot more videos like this, so please subscribe. That way you will be able to find these quickly. And we're almost done. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is select the coin, the purple cone and the purple cone, and I think we're good. I think that'll be the last of it. Let's find out. Hopefully you remembered what color this is supposed to be if you're turning it into me. Otherwise, you can make it any color you want because it only matters what comes out of the plastic inside the 3D printer. That's the only thing that really matters. And I think we are good with mine, of course. I put DRA 3D print. And thank you guys for watching.